If you want your students to be successful with MathScore, it is critical that your students use MathScore consistently. In the past, students never really knew if they were doing enough work to satisfy the teacher's wishes. But that has all changed with the introduction of our weekly goals feature. Now I will log in as Sally. At the moment, I have earned zero stars. Now I will do some worksheets. Each time I complete a worksheet, my star progress may increase. As you can see right here, I seem to have half a star. The progression of the stars is based on my engage time. The time requirement for earning stars is controlled by the teacher. Since this is a demo, I have set the requirement artificially low so you can see fast star progress. My goal as a student is to achieve 10 stars. As you can see, I have two already. Since the stars are right in front of me, I know exactly when I've achieved my teacher's minimum expectations. This feature has definitely boosted student motivation at various customer sites, so we strongly suggest that you use this too. Also notice if I go to the main menu that my goal is right in front of me again, and I have two stars. Here I am logging in as a teacher and I click on Track Progress. I click on Weekly Progress, and I can see the star progress of my students. I can click on Sally's name to see her actual work for this period. From the class summary, I can click on Settings. This is where I can set weekly goals for the class. My test class consists of second graders. For second grade, we recommend 80 minutes per week. I will start my students out easy at 40 minutes per week, then gradually increase the goal by another 40 minutes over the course of one month by using this delta feature. So I'm going to set it out for one month from now, and click right here. So you can see here, we start at 40 minutes per week, and then it moves up 50, 60, 70, then 80. I intend to keep it at 80 minutes per week from this point onward. And that's pretty much it. I've set weekly goals for my entire class for the next month. With almost no administrative effort, you can quickly boost student motivation for your entire class. Here are our recommended engaged minutes for each grade level. As you can see, there is a big difference between the minimum amounts and the recommended amounts. Many of our customers have made wonderful progress when they've met our minimums, but would you like to see what happens when a school implements our recommended engage time goals? I am now anonymously logged into a real school as the school admin, which will allow me to show you how the weekly goals feature can fully benefit you. Everything you see me do can also be done when logged in as a teacher. Just click on track progress and you will get a very similar menu. For starters, let's look at the entire first grade. The last complete week was the week of February 3rd. And you can see that the class averaged 10 stars. February 3rd, by the way, is a Friday. Our weeks go from Friday to Friday so that on each Friday, the teacher can review the results and recognize standout performances for the week. The goal of this view is to give you a very concise summary of student activity. I can see how many stars each student earned, the last topic each student worked on, the rating that they got, the number of topics worked on, and the number of master topics. If I click on the rating, I can see the precise worksheet history for that student's work on the last topic attempted. You can see that on February 9th, this student achieved a rating of 100 on our fast multiplication reverse topic. At the bottom, I can get a high level summary of all worksheet attempts for that topic. 
I can click on any column header to sort by that column. When I click on last topic, I can get a nice sense for the relative progress of my students. Please notice that some students have a C or an S next to their ratings. C means you should be concerned about the student's progress, and S means the student is absolutely struggling. It is absolutely vital for you as a teacher to react to this data and take the right actions. In the case of math facts, that is truthfully a challenging rote memorization skill. Tutoring might not be essential, but providing words of encouragement may be helpful in this particular case. Whenever a student masters a math facts topic, Show your excitement for that student so that others are inspired to succeed as well. I want to be clear that you can't just set weekly goals and expect your students to magically be successful. But, but if you pay attention to the data and prove to the students that you care about their progress on math score, there's a good chance that they will fly with this program. If we go back a few weeks, you can see that for this entire grade level, consisting of 89 students, they've been very consistent. This is very exciting usage. If I click on settings, you can see that these students are expected to achieve 60 minutes of engaged time per week. See that? That's what it takes to earn 10 stars. And here you can see the most active student achieved 30 stars in only one week. You might be wondering exactly how engaged time is calculated. First of all, consider the problem that we are solving. When students are at the computer, they all appear to be productive. You might be duped into thinking that everybody is learning. If students want to log a bunch of time spent without really focusing, they might be able to get away with that behavior using other programs. However, we go to great lengths to ensure that our reported engaged time reflects reality where students are actually being productive. We take into account the actual time students spend doing worksheets. We add some time for time spent between worksheets when you might be studying solution explanations. And we require that the student's rating be under 100. If a student is wasting time on a topic where the rating achieved is already 100, we do not award any engaged time. Similarly, if a student has awful performance on a topic, we might decide that the student was not focused and therefore will not credit engaged time. All added up together, our algorithms attempt to estimate the time at the computer that was actually productive. I'm now going to show you some work at the seventh grade level. What you are going to notice is that a lot of 7th graders are actually working on Algebra 1 topics. Look at those names. If I click directly on the name of a topic, I can instantly see how the entire class has performed on that topic. Here I will click on Integer Subtraction. With this view, you can see how the entire class did with integer subtraction. If I sort by practice rating, you can see the students that didn't do it, any work at all, and you can see the students that tried it. You'll notice that one student here has a rating of 80, has done 39 worksheets, and everybody else has actually mastered this topic. That's really good news. You can see some students even work really hard, 131 worksheet attempts, 180 worksheet attempts, but again, the good news is, all of them eventually mastered this topic. The other thing I want to call attention to is the weekly goal assigned to these students. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to click on settings. As you can see, 180 engaged time minutes have been assigned each week, which meets our recommendations. This is ambitious, but it is plainly clear that the students are capable of meeting such high standards. You'll also notice this timer mods section right here. This particular student is set for 15 extra seconds per problem. We can understand when you need to modify the timer, 
but we also know that you might forget that you even set a timer modification. So this interface makes it easy to delete timer modifications. At the bottom of the page, you can click on Reset Timer Modifications. Doing so will wipe out padding so your students can all experience the topics as intended. I want to be very clear that padding extra time for your students must be done with extreme caution. Our data conclusively shows that students are far less likely to actually be proficient when they master topics when the timer is completely disabled, or when lots of time is padded to each worksheet. It is so, so common for teachers to notice a little frustration with a student and immediately conclude that the timer should be disabled. There are exceptions to every rule, but in general, we ask that you be a little stubborn before you give in by padding time or disabling the timer altogether. Last but not least, I want to show you one more weekly progress feature. See what happens when you click on the name of a student. As you can see, we can show you the activity summary for the exact week, and you can click on other weeks to see the details. Now this particular week looks potentially amazing. Let's click on that. It does look amazing, doesn't it? But I do want to point one thing out. One educational strategy employed by this school is to reset topic ratings back to zero on a fairly regular basis so that students can get more practice and achieve high degrees of mastery. The topics the student completed this week were probably easy for that student, but it helps the teachers confirm that the student hasn't forgotten any foundational knowledge. If you are committed to math score, we encourage you to implement this approach on occasion. In conclusion, we hope that you use the weekly goals feature to its fullest potential. If you have specific questions, feel free to email us at support at mathscore.com.